St. Lucia hosted the 32nd crossing of the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers from December 4th to 19th, 2021, and hosted the inaugural ARC January just six weeks later. This new race was introduced to give participants an opportunity for a smoother sailing, thanks to the constant trade winds with few calms at that time of year. To ascertain the economic impact, and participants' perceptions of the races and the on-island activities, services, and facilities, a survey was conducted by the St. Lucia Tourism Authority among participants berthed at the marina. A total of 60 responses were collected from December 14th to 21st and 31 responses from January 31st to February 7th during ARC and ARC January, respectively. A total of 886 participants arrived during the ARC 2021 and 214 participants during ARC January. Data reveals that spend during the events amounted to approximately $5,226,028.20. General Manager at the IGY Rodney Bay Marina, Sean DeVoe, comments on the economic impact of the events to St. Lucia. The economic impact for, for St. Lucia is tremendous. Um, we, I think we are forever grateful for that. And the nice part about that is that there's no vertical integration with the economic impact. It's, it's spent at the grassroots level um, between the technicians, the, the, the laundry services, um, you know, the government obviously benefits on the duties of fuel, um, imports of, of mechanical parts and stuff like that, um, which are tremendous. Safety protocols and requirements to enter St. Lucia were well received and indicated by 96% of the respondents. 78% of all respondents described the experience as either excellent or good and 93% indicated that they would recommend the event for others. After braving 2,700 nautical miles across the Atlantic to St. Lucia, a warm welcome was hosted by the events company of St. Lucia. Ranking high on the list are the cooking demonstrations and the farmer's market. The berthing facilities and the security levels were the highest commended attributes. Patrons also noted that the Friday night DJ was the most like activity followed by the IGY welcome party whilst the most attended events were the IGY and ARC welcome parties. Nearly all of them are on holiday so they take that opportunity to explore the island. So it's not just the boats and repairing the boats, it's about going out and visiting whether that's down to Soufri, whether that's climbing up the pitons, whether that's uh, going into the sulphur baths, zip lining, a myriad of things that are available in St. Lucia, in St. Lucia, they all really love and enjoy. And a huge number of them do go on to do that. The largest share of expenditure was spent on food and beverage, with slightly smaller amounts being spent on hotel accommodation, boat repairs and berthing fees. Destination tours, taxis and entertainment during both events account for a significant amount of expenditure. Just to know that we can bring this event successfully year after year here to St. Lucia with such an economic impact um, and then we, would, we, we continue to exceed and develop more products uh, with World Cruising Club which St. Lucia benefits from economically and will continue to over the years. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority in collaboration with the Ministry of Tourism, World Cruising Club, the IGY Rodney Bay Marina and Events St. Lucia will continue to work together to provide the best visitor experience, noting areas for improvement in tailoring the visitor experience.